What happens if you measure a gaming laptop up against a desktop? We took one of our most high-end gaming laptops and uh, built a desktop version of it. So in this video, we will be testing a desktop versus a laptop and compare performance and cost. I'm just gonna dive right into what's inside these computers. We have a 3070 Ti. We have the 12th generation i9 processor, the 12900. We have 32 gigabytes of RAM and then we have one terabyte of storage. And that concludes what's the same in these two builds because there are some differences that you cannot have in both of these computers. So in the gaming laptop, we have a power supply, which is not inside the case, and we have built-in cooling. Whereas in the desktop, you have the power supply built-in, which is an 800 watt power supply, and we have a 360 millimeter AIO liquid cooling. So in this build, we applied the principles we usually do when we build uh, computers. We were looking at a 3070 Ti card, a pr pretty high-end card, and uh, the, uh, the top-end process of the i9 12th generation. So in order to make a build that accommodates for that, we have chosen a uh, aquarium case, which is a pretty big case, which allows good airflow and good ambient temperature, and also the 360 millimeter AIO to cool the CPU properly. With the laptop, you also get some other things which are not included in a desktop version. A laptop comes with a built-in monitor, in this case a 240 hertz monitor with an IPS panel. We have a built-in trackpad, we have a keyboard and we have built-in speakers. So these are some of the differences between a desktop and a laptop. For those of you who've seen videos here on YouTube, you might have seen our benchmark test videos. We love testing in Time Spy Extreme, so obviously we are also testing these two in Time Spy Extreme, and we will jump right into it. As you can see on the results, we ended up with a score of 5,257 on the laptop whereas the desktop ended with a score of 7,449. Now we have done a test on a similar build of the laptop where it ended up with a score of 5,400. So about around 150 points higher. When doing tests like this, there will always be some variances. So it's just to say that these uh, specific numbers are not carved in stone, but it is still a rather large difference between those two results. 5,200 versus 7,400. Now, why is that? It has the same hardware, right? Well, not exactly. Because even though the processor is an i9-12900 desktop processor, it should be the same as this one, right? And the 3070 Ti graphics card in here should be the same as this one, yeah? Well, one of the main differences between a desktop and a laptop build is that you have much reduced cooling capabilities in a laptop. So even though you have the 3070 Ti chip inside, your laptop, you do not have the same heat sink to disperse uh, the heat that's been generated and the i9 processor in this build will not be able to perform as well as it does in a desktop build. It will automatically throttle down to, uh, to prevent overheating. So even though the, 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 the chipsets are the same, the, the components around them are not built to actually perform as well as it is on a desktop. You have much better ways of uh, exhausting the heat from a desktop than you have on a laptop. We actually did some quite interesting videos both on 
on these laptops where we benchmark tested them up against each other in a previous video. And we also did a video on, on laptop cooler pads to see how much they actually were in regards to performance. Uh, if you're interested in those, you might want to check them out. We'll leave uh, links at the end of this video for those videos. But that's just to say that there's a reason why these two are not netting the same scores. So if we convert it to percents, the desktop was performing around 34% better than the laptop. If you measure up the cost to performance ratio, we did a 0 to 100 scale and the desktop ended up with a score of uh, around 37, whereas the laptop ended around 26. So we can conclude that the desktop is a better purchase when we look at performance and the cost and to performance ratio as well. But are we making a mistake comparing these two based solely on performance and cost? A desktop and a laptop, they serve two very different purposes. And that is the first you should look at. A desktop PC is per design bigger, has better airflow, more room for uh, more hardware, and therefore will be able to perform better because of the, uh, the capabilities of exhausting heat. When researching these videos, I always uh, talk to my colleagues about their input on the subjects. And in this case, I spoke with Mikkel uh, and, and specifically asked him what product he thought was best, the, the laptop or the desktop. And, and uh, uh, as the wise man he is, he, he, he said that it's like comparing a, a car with roller skates, which is a silly comparison unless you know uh, what kind of road that you're traveling. So if you are riding the freeway, a car is obviously better, but, uh, but there are other cases where the roller skates are, are more suitable. And, and it's the same with a desktop and a, a laptop. If, uh, if you travel a lot and, and if you need a transportable solution, a laptop is the choice for you. It's, it's, not a, it's really not a, uh, up for debate unless you really like taking apart a, a full gaming system each time you have to uh, move about with, with your setup. Yes, a desktop is a better product, strictly speaking, when you look at cost and performance. So if, uh, if, you're, if you're always the same spot, obviously a desktop PC is the better choice. The conclusion here is a laptop will never be as cost efficient as the desktop, but its main quality is the fact that it's transportable. Do you need something stationary? Get a desktop, easy.